Hello guys, this is Julian. Today in this video I have this little Toshiba laptop, which I actually used to use for a bot computer until I started using that one. Well, this laptop, I decided to pull it out again just to experiment with other stuff, and I'm having a few issues powering it up. So in this video, I'm going to attempt fixing it and show you guys how you can fix it or fix your computer if it's having these symptoms. So, I pushed the power button. Yes, the screen's broken on this, but it should still light up, and I have a projector hooked up to this. You can see a few lights down here. Nothing's blinking. Nothing's lighting up. Nothing up here. Obviously, it's not working. I've tried, tried starting it multiple times. Just it, it turn it like it powers up, but blank screen. Nothing on the monitor. Nothing on anything. It just won't light up. You can't get to the BIOS. You can't boot in the operating system. So, what do you do if your laptop does this? Well, hopefully your motherboard's not fried, and I'm really hoping that isn't the case. So, I'm gonna attempt a few fixes. So first, I need to get some light. I'll tell you a few things you can do. See, I have it plugged in. You can try it, try it plugged in, try it not being plugged in. I did that. It didn't matter. So I'm just gonna shut it off. Okay. I'm gonna unplug it from everything. And if you tried it multiple times and it won't work, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna flip the laptop on its side here. And you see you got this thing. This is the RAM. The first thing we're gonna try to do is reseat the RAM. So you're gonna need to have a screwdriver. This one's a Phillips. And you're gonna need to unscrew it. Every laptop is different on where it's located, but the first thing you should do if you have this symptom is, if the RAM is seated wrong, that, that could really cause an issue. I mean, so bad to where it won't even start when really, it's a super easy fix. Hopefully that's the case with mine. I'm not sure if it is, but we'll find out. Okay, there it is. There's our RAM. I don't know if that's seated right or not, but how you take it out is there's these little things on the side, and you're gonna go like, kinda push this way, and yeah, push that way, until it comes out. So now, here's our RAM stick. This could potentially be bad too. It could just be bad RAM. But just in case somehow maybe you're moving your laptop around and somehow it just came out, that's like a good possibility. It could just, it could easily come out here. It could easily come out on laptops if you move it around all the time. So, here, I'm just going to, I, I want to cover up the product key so people don't see the product key. Anyways, it's worn anyways, but still. So, you're going to line it up on the computer. So, it, it went this way. So, is what you want to do is you want to try to get it in, in between, right in between here, so that it lines up and clicks in. So, it might be a little bit difficult. But I'm going to try to film this, but also do it at the same time. Trying it, see, it's kind of hard to do it while holding the camera. I could do this a lot quicker without holding the camera. Um, okay. You want to get it in that socket. You want to get it in the socket. So, whoa, the projector just turned off. Oh, okay. Well, that's probably because there's no signal. Okay, anyways. See, that is not seated right, because you can see it's not in the slot. So if you do that, your computer is definitely not gonna boot. That's for sure. So, I'm not sure if that's how it was in. I think it was in before, but we're going to make sure. There, I'm gonna kind of prop it up a little. There we go. That's in. Pretty sure that's in. So then, you push these down. And you can see, I'm pretty sure we got it seated. Pretty sure that looks right. 
before I put the cover back on. Let's just see if that fixed our issue. So I'm going to put this cord in. I'm gonna put the power cord back in. And this is the first step. So hopefully if this, this might have solved it. If it does for me, great. If not, I'll tell you some other things that we can do here. So I'm gonna have to power this projector back up because the power off from not having signal for so long. And then I'm going to turn this light off. And, oh, they were powering back up. Yeah, I guess it was so much, like, no signal for so long. So much, like, inactivity. It, like, hold on, we've got cords everywhere. It, like, shuts off. So, let's see if that fixed our problem. I'm going to pull this back up. Hopefully, we're going to get something on the display this time. If we don't, it's something more technical. So, I'm going to push the button. Please light up do something pretty please computer and so far nothing okay maybe that's not the issue here however i'm not sure if i entirely put that incorrectly because on laptops it's kind of difficult so before i do this again i'm gonna shut this video off real quick try to see if i can get it in any better just to make sure that it's not that before I just forget about this computer. As it's really hard to do it on camera, but I showed you guys kind of what you gotta do, so hold on. Well, I feel like it might have been the issue because you can't see the other part anymore. Is what I had to do is I kind of had to bend this down like, like this to where I can see it and then put it in like vertically because I heard a click when I pushed it in so i think i might have accomplished something here so yeah you have to do it pretty much off camera or you're not going to get it in properly so i know for a fact i did not have it in properly the first time i tried to reseed it so let's see because this actually looks right because before when i popped this open to begin with it didn't look like this so i think that might have been the issue I forgot to mention about taking out the battery, but with RAM, I mean, you really don't have to because I guess it'll still be fine, but I say to be on the safe side, always take out the battery when you're messing with parts in the machine. Um, okay, so I'm going to put this back in, which is, batteries are so difficult to put back in. Let me just do this off camera. I, this battery in this laptop is so goofy that it, it's like, what? Anyways, I know I'm, I know that's right, so I'm going to put the back cover on because if it still doesn't start at this point, it's, that's not the issue. There's another issue then if it still is going to fail to start right now because I can tell for a fact that RAM is in. So, if it still doesn't start, the RAM stick could be bad, or worse, it could be the motherboard, which we really hope that's not our issue, because that's probably the worst thing that can happen. I'm not sure if it would really be the power supply, because the computer still, like, powers up. It just won't display anything. Okay, let's just get this off, get the projector going. Hopefully that'll work. Um, I'm not seeing it. There we go. Okay. So. Oh, well. Okay. Well, we see that, but there's not going to be any signal as I didn't power this up yet. Okay. So. Please work. And we're seeing some lights. That's good, because I wasn't sleep- Yup. There we go. Oh wait, it just powered off. What? Okay. I don't know why it just did that, but I'm powering it back up again. It looked like it was wanting to work, and then it just shut off again. Weird. Um, okay. We're back up again, so you guys can see. This computer is booting up perfectly fine. And all it took 
was receding the memory or RAM. So laptops, sometimes with laptops, memory can get loose if you bring them around a lot or for example, that cover I have with all those computers back in there, probably moving them around all the time, probably made it loose. You get, you can see that the screen is just completely cracked, which is why I have this projector hooked up. So, so yeah, the screen is very messed up. This computer I've not powered up in a while, so. I'm not sure what to expect. Um, let's see. It wants a pin, but I have no idea where to put it. Um, I keep changing my pins. Let me try this one. I don't know if that worked. Um, so it, it says welcome, but I don't know if that worked. I think it did. But let's just see. I'm gonna end up reloading this computer, so it doesn't really matter. I was actually getting it out to do that. I was going to try to load another OS on here, which is why I pulled it out to begin with. I haven't powered this computer up in months, so yeah. I don't know what to expect. Oh, it looks like a fresh install to me. Interesting. I guess I did reinstall this and then put it away somewhere, not touched it for a while. Well, you can see this computer works. Everything works just like expected and that's all it took. But if you did reseat your RAM and you made sure that it clicked, because if it doesn't click, then it didn't go in properly. Like the first time, it it wouldn't work because I did it didn't clip in, and it's hard to put it in when when you're recording or have a camera. So you have, usually you have to set everything down to do it, which would be difficult to film then what I'm doing. But basically, if that didn't didn't work. It could be the motherboard, it could be the power supply, possibly, I mean, I don't know if this is really that possible, but a damaged BIOS, potentially. But that would be like if maybe you got some kind of weird virus that like overwrote the BIOS, but I don't really know of any of those except for like CIH, but that was like a Windows 98 virus, so chances of that happening, not so much. It's more likely to be some kind of hardware issue if you're not even seeing like a BIOS screen or like a, any screen on your screen at all. If it just stays black, it's not really software. It's more likely to be pointing to hardware. So anyways, I'm going to stop this video. Hopefully this helped you guys. So thanks for watching. Um, let me know any suggestions of any other videos you guys would like to see on my channel. And bye bye for now.